We've been a leader in banking for more than 100 years. You'll find us here, at home, on your phone, and everywhere you go. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Good morning. Welcome to Daily Journal News Break, sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Today's Wednesday, October 3rd, and I'm your host, Elizabeth Walters. We're going to take a look at today's top news and sports stories across northeast Mississippi, but first, a look at your weather forecast. Today, we'll have sunny skies with a high near 90 and tonight's low around 69. And over the next three days, on Thursday, we'll have partly cloudy skies with a high around 90 and a low of 69. On Friday, sunny skies with a high of 90 and a low around 68. And on Saturday, a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms late with a high around 89 and a low of 69. And here's a look at some of today's top headlines. President Trump spoke to a Pack Lander Center in South Haven Tuesday night, declaring Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith a friend and ally of his agenda. Trump said that a vote for Hyde-Smith is a vote for him and make America great again. And Hyde-Smith spoke briefly to the crowd, saying that it's an honor to work with Trump and saying that it's time to get back to Washington and get Supreme Court Justice nominee Brett Kavanaugh confirmed. While the rally was for Trump to show support for Hyde-Smith in the upcoming November special election, he took time to run through his own political achievements and spoke of some of the current events, including Kavanaugh. While many supporters of Hyde-Smith's opponent, Chris McDaniel, were in attendance at the rally, Trump made no mention of the state senator from Ellisville, but did slam her Democratic opponent, Mike Espy, saying a vote for Espy is a vote for the Democratic agenda, open borders, and radical socialism. And looking beyond the special election in November, Trump called for strong Republican turnout in November, saying it's also a referendum about him. And one of Hyde Smith's opponents spoke in Tupelo Monday night, taking swipes at both her and Chris McDaniel. Without mentioning either by name, Mike Espy singled out each for sharp and pointed criticism, saying, Espy said, quote, We don't want someone who makes judgments without facts, and we don't want someone who's just a plain old racist. I'm offering a reasonable alternative, end quote. Speaking again about Hyde Smith, Espy said that she makes prejudgments and that the state needs a senator who listens first and makes judgments later. Espy also contrasted himself with Republican opponents and promised that as a senator, he would not be bound by blind party loyalty, saying that while he's proud to be a Democrat, he thinks there's something to say about being independent. And on Tuesday, the Tupelo City Council approved a lighting improvement grant for the airport and a tentative sale of land for a business parking lot. During the last inspection by the Federal Aviation Commission, the lack of airfield guidance signage was mentioned, and Airport Director Cliff Nash said federal funds will pay for half of the project that will not only install that, but also improve lighting along the facility's taxiways. Nash said that the contract listed as a 140-day project and the notice is already signed and ready to proceed. While the FAC grant will fund half of the project, the Tupelo Airport Authority will have to pay over $27,000, but no money will come from the city's general fund. The council also declared surplus a small parcel of land on Commerce Street and tentatively agreed to sell it to a local business. The roughly 6,000 square foot piece of land is currently being used by the city's public works department for its brush and compost pile. And in sports, Nettleton claimed a division championship in its regular season finale Tuesday night, taking advantage of the long ball to defeat Houston 20-12. The top four in Nettleton's lineup, Micah Hall, Cat Miller, K.G. Payne, and Holly Beth Dabbs, combined for eight home runs, 11 hits, and 15 RBIs, as the Lady Tigers improved to 22-1 on the season. Houston jumped to a 5-0 and 6-3 lead, but Miller had two home runs that eventually tied the game at 6. The Lady Tigers found themselves down again in the fourth 9-6 when Hall had her second home run to cut the lead to 1, and Nettleton took the lead for good with a 10-run sixth inning. And that does it for Newsbreak on this Wednesday. Don't forget that this show is one of the many online offerings courtesy of the Daily Journal that gets you news off the page and on the go. Each story discussed today on Newsbreak can be found in your Daily Journal or online at djournal.com, where you can find a new episode of Newsbreak each weekday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Walters. Have a great day.